Hello, welcome to another guidedgamesfilms.web.com video tutorial. If you like my videos, you can subscribe to them or donate. Uh, to do so is very easy and simple. If you are watching my video, uh, just go over here in the description area, click on more info, and normally it's the first link. Or you can go to my channel and click right here, and that's how you donate. To subscribe, you can click the button here, which on yours will be subscribe or if you're watching the video you can click on the subscribe button uh, if you're not on YouTube you can go to my website click on the links button and then click on the please donate link and whenever you do so on all of them it will take you to my donation page and you can click right here to donate thank you for supporting and enjoy my tutorial today I want to talk to you about a uh, couple of programs which is one with object dot, which I got right here, which is uh, pretty neat. And the other one I have is called rocket dot, which you know you want to say, hey, look the same. Well, they are <laughs> basically the same thing, and you know they pretty much do the same thing. I like to have both of them, one on top of my screen and one on the bottom of my screen. Now these programs are called Objectoff and Rocketoff. To get these programs, uh, you will go to your internet browser and you will go to download.com. I did a, a, a tutorial on this before. It's one of my first tutorials. Not a very good tutorial on it, so I thought I'd do a better tutorial on it. Um, but we're going to start out with Rocketoff first. And you go to download.com and in the search area, you will type in Rocketoff. Then what you do, you go down. Uh, we'll have a couple of advertisements, don't go through them. Uh, go down here to where you see Rocket Doc 1.3.5 or whatever the current version is. Normally your first one will be the current version. Uh, if you want, you can click right here and read about it. Uh, if not, you can just go over here and hit download now. <laughs> and then, okay, <clears throat> now once you got it download, you should have this right here. Don't, Basically what you do, you just uh, click on it and install it into your computer. And once you install it in the computer, normally it automatically comes up top up here. And all you have to do is just uh, add icons to it. As uh, simple as that. And you can also just click and drag icons off of it. Uh, now, if you don't... But let's say if I don't want a dash to be on there. I said I just click, bam, it's off of there. That is. And let's put a dash to be back on there. And say we want to put an icon on there. Click. Now I got mine automatically set to go off of the screen for a simple reason that a lot of times when I open up my web browser, it normally stays on top all the time and I don't want that. So I got mine set to go off, uh, go off the screen, and only come up whenever I put my uh, mouse up there. And I got it set to delay that. That's the only bad thing about Rocket Deck, I don't like. Uh, but to change the settings on them, you just go right here to Dock Settings. Just click on that, and you can change it, change the settings. Now to make it automatically higher, you would put a check right here at the uh, auto high. Then you can change the, the, the delay and the duration of it. And the pop up on mouse over. You want to check that too. And the pop up delay. How long How long do you want it, want it to uh, delay popping up? I like to put it you know, somewhere around here. That way it'll take a minute before it to pop up. Just in case that happens, you just barely go, uh, go up there by accident. Also, there's some other. Uh, stuff right here that you can change. I can change the zoom and uh, the hoover effect. 
had a Zoom with, all that, you know, just, you know, go and check it out and figure out how you want it to set it and how you like your dock to be. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is object dock, which is this right here. I can, I personally kind of like object dock a little better than rocket dock. The one is when I pop up a, a uh, window or you know, pop, uh, open up my web browser, it doesn't overlap unless I go down here and then it would overlap. And then whenever I don't want it to overlap, I just move my mouse away from it. So that's what I, one thing I really like about the object dock. Um, now, to get object dock, you would do go to download.com and then we'll go to the search area and you're going to type in object dock. Then you're going to click on search and then you're going to go down. You're going to go down. <coughs> you have the map test, it's going to go there. Then you have object dock 1.9 or whatever, um, whatever is the current version. Uh, you can click here to read about it, or you can just go over here to where it says download now. Once you've downloaded, you should have this right here, the installer. Next thing you do, you just click on there, and install it, basically snack, 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 just like any programs you install. Uh, I already have it, so that's why I'm not reinstalling it. And there you go, and you should have it. Now, of course, yours is not going to look exactly like mine, but when it first gets on there, it's going to look the same. And to change it, to customize it, just click right here with the bigger dot, and you can change it. Change how you want it. Um, also, on that uh, rocket dock, you can change things to, to make the dock look a different. Dock is appearance. Virtual appearance. Uh, now appearance. I'm sorry, it's not on things, but on appearance is how you change the background of it. Let's say I want it to uh, make the different color. As you can see, it's got a different color now. That's basically how you do that. I'm going to go ahead and change that. So I like this color. And, you know, this is for uh, about how you like uh, your dock to be. Also, on Rocket Dock, you can also change the thing on Rocket Dock too. Style. And right here, you can change the rock style. I'm going to go ahead and leave it the same because I don't like the way it looks now. Oh, and also, the same here is the same for rocket dock. If you don't want something on there, all you have to do is find what you don't want on there, click, and then drag it off. And the same thing if you want it on there, you pick an icon, click, and then drag it on there. There you go. Now make sure that on both Rocket Dock and Object Dock that you right click on there and go to Block Dragon. Because if you don't, um, from time to time you'll click on something and you'll end up taking it off. So you want to make sure that you have the Lock Dragon click uh, or Lock Items for Rocket Dock. You won't accidentally take uh, any of your icons off of there. Well, that's it for this tutorial. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please go to my website at daddygamesfilm.web.com. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. And if you didn't know, now you know. And knowledge is power.